Hey Rad World, welcome back to another episode of Review. Imperium, starring Daniel Radcliffe, Tony Coletti, and directed by Daniel Ragusi? Ragusis? Ragusis? I, I'm sorry, I know I'm butchering your name, but you did an excellent job, sir. This movie was very well directed, very well edited, uh, very well acted. Daniel Radcliffe plays an FBI agent who goes undercover to take down a white supremacy terrorist organization, and it's, it's very well done. Daniel Radcliffe is not an actor that I would normally think could pull off the skinhead tough guy look, but does it very well, and there's not a moment where I doubt his ability to play this character. His character brings a different element into this skinhead organization, and he's the perfect mind that is needed to like work his way up the ladder and find out who's in charge and who is going to do this big terrorist act so that they can bring them down. Tony Coletti also does a really good job as being this like hard ass, you know, boss of his that he has to, you know, has to answer to. She's the one who kind of, you know, talks his character into even going undercover and doing this. My only real issue with the film is that it plays on a lot of thriller cliches and doesn't necessarily execute them the greatest. It tries to be a really suspenseful film, but every suspenseful scene you kind of see coming and you know that the characters, well, you know what's going to happen within the scene. There's no real big twist in the movie. Uh, the twist that is there, you kind of see that coming too. So the problem that I have with the movie is that it's very predictable. But it's not a bad movie. It was actually really entertaining and it was very enjoyable. But it's just predictable. And that's the, that's the biggest bummer about it. Because when a movie is supposed to be a suspense uh, like thriller, you want to not be able to see what's around the corner. You want to be able to build that suspense and really feel it. And that's what makes these movies you know, edge of your seat kind of movies. This is not an edge of your seat kind of movie. It is a more of just like a, you know, interesting story. Daniel Radcliffe performs so well that all that stuff doesn't really matter because you get to just watch him act his ass off and he does a really, really good job. Another issue I have with the movie is that things just go really easily for Daniel Radcliffe's character as far as like infiltrating and going undercover and, you know, being a part of this. Most most movies would take this like undercover agent into like a into a situation where he really had to like prove himself to be a part like to be accepted into this uh, organization. And in this, no no real spoiler here. It happens you know within the first act of this movie. They're like, "Are you a cop?" And he says, "No." And they're like, "Okay." That's pretty much how he gets into this group. And uh, and that that that's also a little bummer, but. Maybe they weren't playing against, you know, they didn't want to do the having to earn himself to get involved in the group because that's what every single uh, undercover cop movie does. Imperium gets a 3.8 out of 5. It takes the, you know, neo-Nazi skinhead kind of movies that we've seen a million times before uh, and does something a little bit different with them and makes it really, really interesting to watch and it's really well directed and it's really well edited and really well acted. So, I mean, overall, this movie is really, it's a really good movie. I really enjoyed watching it. Something to note is that this movie is hardly playing in any theaters and I live in Indiana and I couldn't find a theater in the state that was playing it. So if you really want to see this movie, it is available on VOD immediately, which is great. So if you're having a weekend at home, you feel like watching a movie, you know, get on your VOD platform of choice and watch Imperium because it's well worth watching. And um, if you like this review, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time here on Rad Entertainment. As far as comedies are concerned, this movie's funny, but it's it could have been funnier. I appreciate this remake for what it is, and it is really, really good. Disney.